Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So, as you can see from the title of today's video, today we'll be covering how I would personally scale a marketing agency to 100K a month in 2024. Now, if you are an agency owner in this space, this video is exactly for you. And if you can dial in with me for the next five, 10 minutes and apply everything that I say to the exact steps and you follow everything to the T, there's no reason as to why you shouldn't hit 100K a month in 2024, if not more, okay? And why should you listen to me? Well, my name is Leo. I'm the founder of Closer, a sales consulting firm, and so far across all of our clients and partners, we've done around $3 million in sales. So listen up, I'll break everything down, and we'll go from there. Now, one of the most important things that I see a lot of agency owners mess up is they cannot stick to one offer, right? And what do I mean by that? I see so many marketing agencies switch from offer to offer with different price points and deliverables, right? Stick with one offer and stop confusing your clients with your different packages. In fact, you should only have like two packages maximum, right? And, that, and that's pushing it, right? S try and stick with one singular offer if you can't stick with two, okay? But this is the limit because from personal experience, from my client's experience, having too many different offers just makes your clients less interested and just makes them confused and makes you seem like an Apple store because it, it's almost overwhelming. If you have too many products at once, you're trying to sell them and at the end of the day, it just kind of comes comes across as you know pushy. Oh, this doesn't work for you? Oh, well, we have this option. Oh, that doesn't work for you? Well, we have this option, right? Just stop overwhelming them, keep it simple, and they're more likely to buy with you, right? Now, next thing after that is scrap all of your three-month contracts. I want you to forget about three-month contracts in general, right? The reason I say this is because the one thing that holds back marketing agencies is your three-month contracts. You're not attracting long-term and high-quality clients with your crappy three-month program. Instead, Start working with businesses for six to 12 months minimum, and obviously you make more money. But at the same time, you also get a chance to actually give yourself the time to get them results and noticeable results, right? Because one problem is, you know, the reality is sometimes three months is not enough, right? Now, I will say, if your fulfillment and service delivery is really good, you can get results within the first month. But this at the end of the day just gives you less stress and makes you feel like less of a slave within your own business. Because a lot of marketing agency owners are stuck being a slave to their own job, their own business, and it's just a glorified title at the end of the day. I'm a founder of a marketing agency. No, you're just a slave, right? So sign more clients on six to 12 month contracts and you will make more money and it'll be more stress-free because now you don't have to worry about fulfilling tons and tons and tons of clients. In fact, this will do all of the qualifying for you, okay? And you can dial in with three to 10 partners maximum and get them really, really good results and have a few million dollars, multi-million dollars, maybe eight-figure, nine-figure companies, whatever you end up scaling it to, as partners in the future. Afterwards, I want you to create a free marketing growth plan. Now, not the same bullshit where it's just info dumping, right? Make one really good, applicable marketing plan that businesses can actually use. And do not info dump, like I mentioned. Share proven ad and, SM and social media campaigns, sorry about that, that can actually get the results with proven data. Right. So, for example, a great case study and a great marketing growth plan that a business can apply for free without even paying you is replicating another campaign, another sales funnel, infrastructure, whatever it is, but something that they can, they can actually replicate within their own business without even having to speak with you. Right. So focus on that and provide as much value as you can on the front end. Afterwards, while you're providing that value in terms of marketing growth plans, run ads and build your brand with $4,000. Now, what do I mean by that? Obviously, what you're going to do is you're going to post valuable clips, not secret, not secret tips and tricks. That doesn't get you the high quality clients. What you're going to do is highly valuable, highly, highly educational content with a call to action in every single video on social media to generate organic traffic. And in the meantime, you run paid ads with valuable content, similar, but with more of a call to action that targets a specific area to generate at least 200 leads per month. Now, average, why I mentioned... Uh, the, the reason why I mentioned $4,000 in ad spend is because the average cost per lead is around $20. So we want to make sure that 200 leads, $20 is around $4,000 in ad spend. So keep that in mind. Now, it's going to tie into some data, which I'll mention in just a little bit. But what I do want to mention in the meantime is I want you, before your sales call process, to create a really, really good and strong video sales letter or pre-selling process. Now, it doesn't have to be a VSL. Like I mentioned, it could be an open plan, whatever you want, right? But I've just seen VSLs be super, super effective. In fact, Russell Brunson actually mentioned this really, really well and a really good point, right? Like, why sell one-to-one -one if you can sell one-to-many? And what he means by that is 
why take the time to take a sales call with someone when you can actually just create a funnel a VSL that does all the selling for you to many different businesses right now that's why I mentioned the VSL and if you can create a system that does all the selling for you right it will prevent your sales calls turning into demos where people do not buy your product or service and instead it'll allow you to have your sales calls be called payment collection calls right so actually closing the prospect on the call because they know everything about your service they've you know your call has ha your video has handled every single objection that they could come up with right and there's no reason as to why they shouldn't go with your service or product so make sure that you have that in place afterwards the main thing you want to do on that call is obviously close right and this ties into some data that I will mention in just a second now depending on your niche and your offer you need to be closing at least 50% of those sales calls because it is pre-selling your prospects so your close rate should be fairly high and um, you don't need to book them in for a second call but if it if it requires you ending up trying to book them up on a follow-up uh, trying to close them on a follow-up call then do that but what you're gonna do regardless whether it's on the first or second call is close them on a 15 to 20k one-time fee now why not a retainer well let's say your agency sucks right now I get it my agency sucked too I was working with a marketing agency in the past that didn't really work well until we actually improved the fulfillment right and sometimes things don't go to plan so imagine if you're on a retainer and then they just end up canceling with you halfway through the contract and even though you signed a contract in place it, you know, it, like they don't care they just kind of ghost you and they don't pay you right and they kind of dispute the, the dispute in fact all the payments that they've already made so instead take everything up front so that you have the commitment and they've already paid for the next six to 12 months of working with you right and that also ensures safety for you and your team so that you can actually pay yourself your employees whoever you have working on this project and this is where the data comes in right so let's say you have 200 leads and only 10% of them book in. Now that is sort of a, like a risk mindset because in fact, around 20% should be booking in from the ads and the leads that you generate. But let's say you only book in 10%. That's 20 book calls, right? If you do not close them on the first call, right? Even though you have an amazing VSL, which has done most of the pre-selling for you. And in fact, you can use the first call to do some of the pre-selling as well and provide more value. And then you schedule in a second call. Let's say 15 schedule in after the 20 book. Right, around a 75% second call booking rate. Afterwards, on that second call, you should have at least 50% of them closed on a 15K one time fee. Now, seven times 15 is around $105,000, and that will get you 200K a month. So, this is the exact data that you need to follow to hit that number. Okay? Afterwards, well, obviously, after you've done the closing, I want to introduce something that has not been done before in this industry, right? Now, what I want you to do is ask each closed prospect for referrals that would like free ad spend credit on the call. This is a really lucrative idea. I haven't seen many marketing agencies do this. Um, I think ad spend credit is amazing because it kind of incentivizes them to, oh, okay, like they're willing to take some of the risk on this project as well to try and get me results, right? And their perception of you is ultimately higher and like they're probably like, oh, okay, shit, like this guy's legit, okay, cool, right? And then make sure to ask them to add their friend or the referral partner to the onboarding call when you can actually upsell them both. So instead of scheduling a separate sales call with the other person, you actually just get the other person, the referral, to join you and join them on the onboarding call. So you can just close them both on that same call and get them both onboarded. How good is that, right? So afterwards, what do we do with the, when we you know close the client, right? This is where we have hybrid fulfillment. Now, I want you to <clears throat> automate the fulfillment as much as you can, but you will have to take calls. You will have to sometimes deal with unhappy clients, if not happy clients, right? doesn't really matter, but it's going to be a mix of the fulfillment, whether it's automated or self-taking calls, whatever. And what I want you to do is create a system that can automatically fulfill for your clients and use a fully trained AI chatbot that does all the 24 seven chat support for you while you do the calls. This way it kind of sa saves you a little bit more time, gives you time to focus on other things instead of just manually booking in a call and manually being the chat support agent for your clients every single day at every single time. And at the same time, I want you to schedule out all of your client check-ins on the onboarding call and make a commitment to show up to everyone with a potential incentive, maybe a little gift at the end of the contract term if their attendance was above 95%, which just makes them, you know, more incentivized and, you know, more likely to join those onboarding calls or, sorry, those check-in calls because those check-in calls are actually 10 times more important than the actual sales call of closing because constant communication with you and your clients is going to make them at the end of the day happier at the end of the day one of the most important things when it comes to fulfillment is constant communication and if you can maintain that by scheduling out the check-ins on the first day of onboarding rather than manually doing them 
every single time the client reaches out, it's going to save you so much time, so much other hassle, communication back and forth, not finding the right time. Just schedule out your check-ins, whether it's bi-weekly, monthly, weekly, doesn't matter, up to you. And then afterwards, the final thing that I want you to do is just reinvest at least five to 50% of the profit into ads and then repeat a 200 lead campaign, if not more, again. And if you have more leads, you will probably end up closing more clients. And if you close more clients, you make more than your hundred k month. So this is your guide to scaling your marketing agency to over 100 k a month, if not more in 2024. And I hope you guys found this valuable. Now, if you feel like everything that I just mentioned is awesome, but you have one of three things coming up. I don't know how to do this. I don't have the time to do this, or I just want someone who knows their shit to do this for me and with me, right? And if you feel like any of those categories represent or align with how you feel after watching this video right now, then what I want you to do is I've linked a booking link at the bottom of this description on this YouTube video, which I'm going to click on and schedule a partnership call with you, right? What we're going to do on that call is discuss how we can grow your business, right? How we can potentially partner up and just scale the hell out, the hell out of your business, right? Close more clients, get to 500k a month, get to a million a month, right? And how we can really take things to the next level. So. Whether or not you want to book a call with me, that doesn't really matter. I hope you got valuable. I hope you got value out of this video. Sorry. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, hopefully you guys do book in that call and uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace.